Hello everyone and welcome to Tenjiwe TV. My name is Noktulam Selegu and today I want to tell you a story. A story about a woman who helped to build the Zulu nation. I'm talking about Princess Mkabai Kajama, daughter of Jama Kandaba. Mkabai born a twin with her sister Mama. They were supposed to be separated at birth as the Zulu custom states that if twins are born, one should be killed. But Jama acted on the contrary of tradition and spared both of the twins. With this action from King Jama, the whole Zulu nation was in fear of the ancestral wrath. Of course, something bad did happen when Queen Mother died without giving birth to an heir of the throne. When the Queen Mother died, everyone started to blame King Jama for not killing one of the twins. Mkabai, being the strongest of the twins, everyone started to hate her, blaming her for what had happened. Seeing that everyone started to hate her, she began to court a woman who would marry her father so that she can bear an heir to the Zulu throne. Upon finding this out, King Jama was so happy that she stated that Nenzanga Kona, which means that you have done well. Mkabai courted a woman that was named Mtaniya, and Mtaniya gave birth to the heir of the Zulu throne, Till today, Mtaniya is seen as the mother of the Zulu nation. That is why, till today, the Zulu nation is known as Israel Mtaniya, which translates to the nation of Mtaniya. When King Jama passed on, Mkabai appointed herself as the regent of the Zulu nation, which made her the first woman to ever ascend the Zulu throne. Everyone was not happy about the action, but with fear of her wrath, because she was known to be very very strong willed, everyone started to bow to her. Mkabai sat on the throne until Senzanga Kona was old enough to be appointed as king. Senzanga Kona on his own had a son named Skidi, who is popularly known as Shaga. He had the son with a woman called Nandika Pepe, a lady that was born on the Mshongo family. Senzanga Kona always cheated Skidi, aka Shaga, and Nandi as outcast. But Mkabai always went against his brother's words and went to visit Nandi and Shaga. She is known to have had a very good relationship with Shaga's mother. Shaga was not meant to be an heir to the throne as his mother was made a lesser wife to Senzanga Kona. Instead, when Senzanga Kona passed on, Skujana was appointed as the king. Mkabai plotted with Shaga to have Skujana assassinated and Shaga ascended the throne. Once again, Mkabai did not hesitate to have Shaga assassinated when she noticed that Shaga was starting to abuse his powers after the death of his mother, Nandi. Mkabai plotted the assassination of Shaga with Dingani and Mshangani, two of other Senzanga Kona's sons. Then later, Mkabai also decided to have Mshangani assassinated so that Dingani can ascend the throne. Mkabai was sent to exile after the death of Mshangani. She died in exile with regrets after killing so many of her nephews. But she will always be celebrated as she is responsible for the standing strong of the Zulu chief Nancy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever a new video is uploaded. And do not forget to comment down below what you think about a strong woman like Mkabai Gajama. Oh,